Hey, it's Rand. Over the last 30 days, I've provided you with the mindset and tools to kickstart your journey of reinventing yourself. I encourage you to build on this knowledge base and create your own fierce practice. Exactly how fierce you are and how much of a reinvention you undertake depends entirely on you. Will you be fierce? Will you be fiercer? Will you be your fiercest self? The intensity level you choose comes from a place deep inside you. It comes from a place of truth, a place of ultimate authenticity, and a place where you are totally present in all that you do and think. Being fierce is not about smashing it, owning it, or any other form of faux aggression. There is no ferocity in being fierce, only truth. You should consciously seek and say the truth. You should work on and know your weaknesses, and you should constantly improve and stretch yourself so that you can make the shift to extraordinary greatness. You don't need anyone's permission to make this shift, but there are pathways that can ease your way. Think of these pathways as being signposted by breadcrumbs or morsels of permission. These are the small parts of possible that appear in different places. These are the small parts of possible which appear at different times and they can be easily missed. You need to be hyper aware and mindful of them. You need to assemble them like a puzzle so that, like magic, these seemingly disparate pieces form a pathway on which you can journey and do extraordinary things. Making the shift to extraordinary involves granting ourselves and others the permission to shift from doing things in a linear, constrained way. It involves approaching apparent dead ends with this mentality, and the results will be the opening up of new paths of possibility. I wish you well on your journey of reinvention, and I extend to you an open invitation to engage with me, keep me up to date on how your life changes and on the incredible things that happen to you as you progress your practice of being fierce. Once again, thanks for watching.